Hello everyone, we're here to continue The Walking Dead. Last time we got to the dairy, the farm, which I don't like. I don't like the men in there, I don't like the mama and stuff. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, fish. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> it wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Uh. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. What's this? Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Let's take it. Disgusting. What is this? Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. <clears throat> Those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Well, yeah. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. You can do it if you really can. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's... Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Thank you. There's another one. I see <laughs> it. Wow. Oh. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You. Man, no, no, no! Right into <laughs> I didn't hands. mean to. I think they fused together. Yeah. Just cut it off. <laughs> Thanks. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. I don't even want to know. Christ! I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. Mm -hmm. I get hungry too, you know. Uh... I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh, Come shit. On. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh, I don't like this. Let's help him out. Little help here, Lee? Yeah, yeah. No worries. Oh. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Oh. We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Uh, what is this? 
We can't. You didn't deliver the deal. Uh, pull this up. Whoa. No, this, no, that. No, it doesn't work. No fuel. Of course. What? Oh. Shit, something's still blocking it. Didn't see that. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. Sit there. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. Got the gate open. Lily, what's wrong? I thought this place was safe. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. 
Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. <sighs> oh, well, not ha, huh, but... Doc! I made it for Clementine Asshole You almost kicked me <clears throat> Hey Hey Lee Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure In case we decide to make this a more long term solution Except for those people in the woods Seems pretty safe Good to know Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us how you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, Clem. They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Douche! You should be like, okay! Uh... How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah, I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <sighs> I only wish things could be like this all the time. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. 
I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Uh, we'll go uh, in a few minutes. Yeah. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. I'll just talk with uh, these people in here. What there was in here? There was the gas tanks. They're storing gasoline all over the property. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Well, that's true. Oh, they're there. Now we can look at this. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Okay, let's go meet up with the asshole and with the okay woman. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Yep. What up, peeps? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? You're a good leader, Lovin. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Probably it's best not to talk about your dad. Ooh, what's that? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Okay, and we should just go to meet up with the bandits. I hope nothing bad will happen. Ooh. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Let's go. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Mm. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Goodbye, Clem. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Oh, Clem. I will get your hat, hat back, I promise. See anything? Not yet. <sighs> I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? I can't see anything. See anybody? No. You see anything? Stay on your guard. 
Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tin. Gah! Oh. Phew. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Hmm. What's this? Yuck, I don't need that. Hmm. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fuels. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Mm hmm This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. No. Oh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. The kettle. Just water. I I don't trust this, Lee. I don't trust this at all. Nothing. What about this? Empty. No. That is some weird ass looking What'd camera. What'd you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful. You're and then get so a hiding something from me. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Yep. How did I teleport there? Looks like they expected to be here a while. What's in here? Can you find anything, Lee? Your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. 
believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. <laughs> then I'll head into the farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- Oh! No, go on. What the fuck did he God say God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Thank you for shopping at safe lots. Achievement unlocked. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. She was a freaking so, human! We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. You and should never kill idea, humans in this type of world. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I don't trust you one last bit. And I need batteries for that freaking camera, I want to know. Back in this shithole. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. Wow. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, oh. calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on again? What's going on with them? Don't know. <laughs> Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh. uh... Don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all did a little testing. We'll fix that shortly. Why does and it Lee, so? don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Fuck you, bitch. I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, hey, Clem. I got your hat. Huh? You're just gonna close that door? Yeah. Better take this hat to her. She's gonna be so happy. I don't like that there are storm coming. But it sounds great. In my headphones. Yep, let's go. You're 
you're skinny. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Just says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. That is so cute. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I love you. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Want your hat back? Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. My heart, heart just warms up she when I'm here, Clem. What up, Doug? Have I missed anything? No. Not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> I love those kids. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. When do you think we might um, eat? When do you think uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Hmm. It's in here. Up, up. No buttons. See anything? What about in here? Let me sneak up on things. There's the salt lick. Silly Clem. What's in here? I probably have tasted it myself one day uh, when I was small. Ooh. Empty. Well, we know those boxes. What's that? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm I right agree. now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. Back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Well... Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Dude! This is me from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Oh my 
my God! <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, uh, <coughs> nothing. Um. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry hmm, about your hmm. Well, I don't think they are hey, uh, inside the favor. barn. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I don't have a screwdriver. Oh. What's that? Open. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Can I take anything off these? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Oh god. I want to get out of here. I can open that one. Any screwdrivers here? You know, with the ooh. It's a feeding trough. Oh. And the last one. Hmm. Ooh. Just some fence posts. Ah. Okay. Go. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. I would have never thought that he could pull off that such of a thing. Is it gazebo? Yeah. What up, Lily? Yo. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Uh... There may be something going on with that barn. If I'm telling you, said Lee, something about the longer Kenny. we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. Uh, your dad. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Uh. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I understand, but still... After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay. Oh man, I have an idea and I'm gonna do it. Open it. Bull 
bullseye. Multi tool uh, 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 uh. should be handy. Give me that. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. <laughs> Let me handle that stuff. Turn it off first. Open it. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Oh. There you go. I'm too tight for my bare hands. Okay, I thought it was good to be easier. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, it will take forever. I mean, time me and Kenny are gonna <laughs> things out. <clears throat> I'm gonna open this door. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Oh, great. I'll have to do this alone? Okay. Oh, God. Take them all off. Good boy now. No one's gonna catch us or anything. We're gonna do our shit. Do it. 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 Do Dinner time. Uh... Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Teleport back! <laughs> oh, Brenda, wow. you are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. I don't know, Lee. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. Gauze pads.
There's some freaking... Huh, where's that cord going? So much morphine for candles. Smart. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? something oh sit your ass down lee this lady has made you a meal yeah lee what's gotten into you he got a star he could use some goddamn manners you're eating human meat that's crazy what the hell i'm uh, scaring the kids lee lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him lily it's always something with this guy mom i was eating that what is going on they're picking us off to trade as meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Oh, really? Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Don't go near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! <gasps> Lee? Lee? <laughs> Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Achievement unlocked. Guess who's coming? Oh! 
Oh, open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you shit fucking bastards! Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the really goddamn bad. door down! Stop. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, you okay Clementine? They... they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! We're gonna get the fuck out of there in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for all of the love and support, and we will get revenge on those bastards right when we get out of that fucking place.